Hello there, Sabre fans. Today I want to do a review of the uh, Crimson Dawn um, Dark Typhon that I got as a mystery box. Uh, I actually did that unboxing video um, <clears throat> sometime last week, and uh, now that I've had the Sabre for a little while, I just kind of want to review some of the features, as well as some of the modifications that you'll notice. So I think the first thing that you'll notice is that there are uh, gold strips here. Um, and every time that I show a, a saber that has that, I inevitably get a comment, you know, hey, how did you do that gold? Well, here's your answer. It's gold tape that I got at a hobby store. Specifically, I got this at Michael's. Um, you just, you know, peel it off and cut it the way, the size that you need it and, and put it around the saber, but um, it's just tape. That's it. Really simple. So... <clears throat> Now that that's out of the way, let's take a look at the, the Typhon as it is. Um, so this saber actually has uh, four parts to it. We've got the switch section here, the emitter, the grip, um, a, an extension, and the palm. So actually, I, I misspoke. That's actually five parts. Um, <clears throat> and what's great about uh, this is that unlike the Banshee hilt um, that has a, a lot of different grooves, this specifically has four, so it's actually perfect uh, finger hold. So this is a very, very comfortable saber uh, because of this. Um, but of course, the grip, these grips being on the bottom half means that this will be typically your, your off hand. Um, typically, you want to hold a saber a little bit closer to the emitter, but this is great for that off hand. So. Uh, now, I had actually ordered this as a NeoPixel, um, <clears throat> but I have since swapped it out for a V6 core because I did have um, had Dentares which was this guy right here. And I wanted it to have the NeoPixel. It's, um, you know, I've kind of modded it out a little bit more. So I wanted that. So I just sw swapped the cores. That was really easy, just um, unscrewing these screws here, unscrewing that screw, um, press down the switch, switch out the core. Uh, that's a feature of <clears throat> all of the Crimson Dawn uh, sabers, uh, bar, I think, the, the replicas. But uh, what's really cool about the Typhon specifically is and has this bottom piece apart from the pommel. So this is actually the standard pommel that it comes with, and it actually doubles as a coupler. And I'll show you um, what that's great for in just a minute. But um, So you've got this little extension piece, and again, I've put gold tape and I've used some O-rings. So this is a little different than what it typically looks like. Um, but you actually don't even need this part. Um, you can. You know, see how far the speaker goes to here, so you can actually just have it be a shorter saber. Um, uh, but actually, let's show you, so with this coupler, what you can do is if you've got another saber, like this Antares, you remove that pommel, and you can actually just screw this bad boy in there like that. If I can get it to line up. So now you've got a nice double-bladed lightsaber. But one of the things that you'll notice is, so these switches are not aligned. So another thing that I want to show you guys is my solution uh, for aligning those parts. So real quickly, I just kind of put this back to, um, you know, Put all the pieces back. So what I typically do is I'll, I'll get an O-ring, and you can find these at your hardware store. I get them at Lowe's or Home Depot. Usually they're in packs of ten. Uh, this is specifically size eighteen, uh, so it's a little it's a little chunkier than say um, the O-rings that I have around here and up at the top. Uh, and these fit really really well into the grooves of uh, the Typhon. Um, <clears throat> now the the ones I have here are size seventeen. So really, it's the same size, it's just the size 17 has uh, thinner uh, parts. Um, and so, in order to align your parts, this is what I do. So, uh, Crimson Dawn does sell timing shims. Um, they're just little metal rings that you can put uh, kind of right around here so that you can align things like these uh, retention screws. You want to align them with the switch. I prefer the O-rings because they're made out of rubber, and that means that they're a little squishier, so with the timing shims, you may have to put multiple shims on there just to get the alignment. So it's a lot of, 
you know, kind of going back and forth. Uh, you know, you put two on, but you need a third one, so you got to unscrew it and put the third one on. And um, with with O-rings, you just need one O-ring, either the thicker ones or the thinner ones. <clears throat> and as you start to, to screw it, so at this point, there's full contact. So I, you know, it's not loose at all. But because this is squishy, I can continue to turn this. And now, my retention screws and my switches are perfectly aligned. So that's why I like the O-rings better than the timing shims. Um, <clears throat> and also, you know, it gives a, a little bit of a, a surface here, uh, which is kind of where I put my hands when I, when I uh, wield this. So, um, great saber, you know, very basic, easy to customize. Um, you know, you've got this uh, extension here, which, um, by the way, this, this extension can not only go um, at the bottom, but you can actually put it up at the top. And because the extension is hollow, it's the same uh, inner diameter as your blade. So if you wanted to, you could easily put this guy right here and then put your emitter here. So a lot of um, modulization, if that's a word, um, on this guy. So you can do that, play around with however you like. Um, I think uh, I used to have a Dragoon that was kind of similar to this where it had the emitter, the extension was above the switch section, and then it had this and the pommel. Um, but, you know, just a lot of good possibilities with this guy. So I'm very pleased that this was one of the ones that I got in my uh, tier two mystery box. So what I want to show you guys next uh, is actually how to balance the saber, and this is going to be uh, true for any Crimson Dawn saber that has these modular parts. So again, probably not the uh, replicas, but uh, your banshees, your shades, <clears throat> um, you know, the dragoons, the inquisitors, you know, anything that's in their tier two. Uh, or tier three line uh, should should have all of these uh, parts, and and let me show you what I mean by balance. So I've got my 36 inch blade uh, in here, and just the way that the saber comes as is, uh, the balance point is about right there, where my finger is. Um, and that's not bad, especially if you're going to hold it right here, um, having the balance a little bit. Um, towards the blade end. I like that because um, when I spin, I kind of use that to kind of create momentum as I'm spinning. But there are other ways that you can balance it. I know uh, some duelers um, or duelists uh, prefer the, the choke point that they grab on is where the perfect balance is. And you can do that with some extra parts. So I have another uh, extension here. Uh, now, just like the gold tape, I used foil tape. So this was originally a black extension and I just got some aluminum foil tape cut it to the, the width that I needed, and did that um, for some extra uh, extra um, flare. But if you wanted to, to balance the saber, you could put another extension. So just by putting this extension and putting the pommel, that changed my balance point considerably. So my balance point was up here, now that's up here. Um, and if you really wanted to, to go with a little bit more, what you could do is get a heavier pommel. So again, this is the pommel that default comes with the Typhon, comes with the Banshee, the Shade, the Wraith, a couple other sabers. Um, but here is, I think, their heaviest. Uh, and this one comes default with the Dragoon, the Lancer. Um, you can see the size difference between these two. And this is a pretty solid chunk of aluminum. And so it, it adds a bit of weight. So if you guys are really wanting to, to get something that puts a little bit more weight at the, the back end of your hilt, um, this is a good pommel choice. And they're all compatible. So when I put that on with the uh, extension, now my balance point is right, uh, right about there. So if, if I were dueling and I wanted my balance point right where I grabbed the saber, right here, then I've just done that. And it looks pretty good too. Um, you can of course get these pieces separately uh, when you order your saber, but that's kind of a way to balance the saber. And, and of course, um, just wanted to show you guys this for, uh, 
for a review of the Typhon. I think it's a great saber. Um, probably not a saber that I would order by itself, but for getting this as a tier two mystery box, I am very pleased uh, with this. So uh, before I end the video, let's take a look at that. Hear that smooth swing? And that was my review. I hope you guys enjoy.